Hey guys, welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. Hope you guys are moving forward with everything that you do. Diving right into it here, taking a look here at this Bitcoin decline and Bitcoin pulling back. Let's go over a couple articles here. A ton of articles, a ton of news on this topic. So Bitcoin decline by a very similar amount in 2016 having and before the 2017 bull run. Let's see what's going on here. So uh, in a post, uh, the analyst said that Bitcoin decline since the happening is now similar to 2015, 2017 bull market cycle. With that being said, they see here, you can see the similarities uh, with the halvings and pretty much what it looks like from a price action standpoint. As you see here, we can see that, you know, there is some similarities as we take a look here at, uh, you know, really what's going on. So taking a look here at the having price behavior, we can see here the bull market cycle, having date, having week close, subsequent low, decline post having hurdle for new highs, weeks to new cycle highs okay so really right here what they're seeing here is a having date was for 2024 the close of that is 64,962 subsequent low as of right now is $49,050 decline post having 26 percent almost equivalent uh, almost spot on to 2015 2017 uh bull market cycle and then we see a hurdle for new highs is 73,804, 16 weeks so far to date. So uh, really what they're hinting at here, we have eight to nine more weeks, okay, of this. So this is, they're basing this off of, off of the history. So we're basing off of what we've seen before. And to be honest with you, I do, uh, like I said, guys, I do think that everyone has all of 20 24 to accumulate okay i'm not deviating from that i have not deviated from that that is exactly how i'm looking at it um you know all the all the charts the scanners and everything i just think things have changed i think yes we do have uh historical uh historical things to go off of uh, but we did not have an etf we did not have banks buying massive amounts of bitcoin last bull cycle okay we did not have uh, institutions and and uh, you know major companies buying a ton of Bitcoin. We didn't have economies, okay. We didn't have economies uh, <laughs> banking on Bitcoin either. Last uh, any of the last two bull cycles I've been a part of, okay. We just didn't see that. So uh, when I look at this and I look at what's what what's coming, um, you know I came at the end of the second bull bull run so 2015 2017 uh, is when i got into crypto and i've been through uh, that bull cycle so when bitcoin first shot up to uh twenty thousand, and then also uh you know the last bull cycle 2018 21 right so uh you know i've seen i've seen this but like i said the conditions have changed and there's a ton of players in the crypto space that were not before so I think we're going to see prices that we've never seen before, uh, not just because of new all time highs, but because of the rate in which these massive players are accumulating at. I just think it's something that we've never seen before. And with that, we're going to see something we've never seen before. So take a look here. A uh, trader who called May 2021 collapse as Bitcoin is setting up for fourth quarter fireworks. Pretty much aligned with the same uh, trajectory or the same timeline that we see, we saw in the previous article. Uh, but taking a look here, veteran trader who actually predicted May 2021 crypto collapse as Bitcoin is setting up for solid end of year performance. So day of the wave says, um, look at this chart. And he has this chart going down a little bit. As we can see, uh, we have pretty much saying a pullback anywhere from 47,000, um, anywhere from 47,000 to 50,000, it looks like, uh, with the break of a counter trend line here on the chart, uh, which which is fair. Um, with the major level of support around, around that $47,000 level. So, uh, you know, pretty much saying bouncing off of that and to be honest with you if you look at our charts it's almost aligned with that trend line that we have uh almost spot on so that's pretty cool to see somebody uh you know 
charting the way we do but um looking here uh he's pulling that out and pretty much saying bitcoin price currently stuck in a multi-month range we can easily forget that it is also currently pushing all-time highs where the current price was also first reached back over three years ago so day the wave said last month that bitcoin recent dip correction into 50,000 range could be beneficial for bitcoin positioning it to rally 400 percent which would be a target of 220,000 guys so with that being said we see that that massive target i just want you guys to remember and i get bitcoin is out of reach for a lot of you guys but you can accumulate portions which is great it's the great thing about tokenization the great thing about crypto you can accumulate portions but i want to talk about what i think a lot of people are not talking about and that's ethereum okay even just basing it off of where things currently are now okay we see ethereum at 24 and we see bitcoin at 55 okay now basic math if we even just use our calculator here basic math is if, if let's say 220,000 and you know bitcoin reaches that based off of where it's at now that's 3.98 okay and then even ethereum 3.98 gets a ten thousand dollar ethereum but we know altcoins perform far far greater than bitcoin okay that's why we say bitcoin's king altcoins are key okay bitcoin is number one yes okay but the money the, the most money can be made in ethereum okay this is which is why we've talked about i truly believe ethereum could be 20 to 50k okay peak at peak market so everything anything the success of bitcoin is a requirement for the success of altcoins but i don't think that people are talking enough about the potential ethereum has because i truly believe that ethereum is where bitcoin was in 2018 when it pulled back uh 2018 2019 when it pulled back almost to uh three thousand uh, dollars i think it went went under three thousand dollars to be honest with you so um we look back here at this price point or this price action and as we see here you know we, it shot up shot up crazy on some charts it went to twenty thousand. okay and um and this was in this was in like the end of 2017 going into 18 shot up to 20 uh 20 000 on most most exchanges pull back okay pull back all the way to three thousand dollars okay so when i look at when i look at ethereum i think ethereum is positioned to perform as well as bitcoin okay um i definitely think that the you know transitioning to proof of stake and really just the the bandwidth of how many people are utilizing ethereum like there there's been talks of people flipping and there's going to be oh this project's going to flip oh uh this is going to flip ethereum this is going to flip but no nothing's come anywhere close uh, the only thing that's came close was a while back. I think XRP may have uh, years ago now at this time. So, um, you know, with that being said, I definitely think that that taking a serious look at Ethereum uh, for those people that are are kind of bummed out by missing out on Bitcoin. We've been talking about Bitcoin for years now, right? You missed out on Bitcoin at three thousand, but you have Ethereum <laughs> pretty much that is is the next best thing when it comes to really you know you may because you may not want to use ethereum ethereum has high gas fees at this time um even even after switching to proof of stake but ethereum from a price action standpoint i think we can agree that ethereum isn't going anywhere so i think ethereum is the next next best bet for bitcoin uh we pretty much packed our bags for all of our crypto uh when it comes to uh when it comes to you know where we want to be for all coin standpoint i think our our next thing is just to pat our bags with some ethereum because ethereum is such a discounted asset i believe um i do believe a 20 a twenty thousand ethereum is not off the table it is not unrealistic like i said everything depends on bitcoin guys so utilize this time accumulate think a little bit differently guys and continue 
to uh, you know do your homework, do your own research. We don't give financial advice. This is just what we're doing. And to be honest with you, this is a very exciting moment in history, especially when things are falling off a cliff, giving everyone an, an opportunity to get a seat at the table. So hope you guys got some value out of this video. Keep moving forward in everything that you do. We'll see you soon.